Welcome to the Kuya Dev Podcast, where we explore the ins and outs of building a successful tech career. My name is Rem, your Kuya Dev, and I'm excited to have you join me for this episode. Whether you're just starting on your career, looking to shift careers into tech, or hoping to grow more as a tech professional, this podcast is for you. Thank you for tuning in, and together, let's enjoy the episode. Every generation has its own set of slang. Kumbaga sa mga lolo natin and mga tatay is meron sila parang Jeff Rocks, di ba? O prepa, no? Erap. Erap parang iba yata yun. <laughs> Pero sa mga batang 90s, marami rin yan. Uh, pero natatandaan ko na lang yung tipong pards, di ba? Tol. Uh, na medyo gamit pa rin ngayon. Sa tingin ko, medyo sa akin na uh, interesting is yung set of current na slang na gamit ng mga Gen Z. Yung meron tayong mother is mothering, meron tayong riz, ano pa ba? Madami pa yan. So, maganda parang ano yun? keeping up to date with the, the lingo ng current generation, no? current younger generation. But there's a particular na na slang na caught my attention. Kasi sobrang ganda niya. Sobrang simple niya. Nakakatawa siya. But it's so profound. Medyo parang hindi, ano, no? mahirap siyang ma-grasp na parang slang, profound. But this actually can be applied. You know? Sobrang simple lang niya. But it can be applied to everyone's life. So, sa mga hindi pa nakarinig to, n- nito, so I watched this mentioned in one of the TikTok videos that I've been watching. No, I, I've gla- or actually chanced upon. Minention yung do it for the plot. No? Do it for the plot. So, four, four words. And it's a full sentence and it's a and it's a call to action no na do it for the story di ba kasi story plot they come in hand in hand in hand di ba eh ako na, na nagets niyo na agad kung bakit it was very profound for me na nung, na, nung first time ko siya narinig but it's exactly what a lot of people na motivators or motivational speakers are trying to tell everyone na you should not be afraid to fail, no? And you should not strive to be perfect. I mean, yeah, you can strive to be perfect, but don't be a perfectionist, no? Na okay lang magkamali. Okay lang na na hindi perfect yung ginagawa mo as long as, no? You're striving as as long as you're trying. So, let's dive deeper into that forward slang. Na ito na nga yun. It's just telling us no, to be the main character of our own stories. Pero before tayo mag-move on, there's that other side naman na kinatawag naman nilang main character syndrome na feeling mo umikot sa yung mundo. It's an extreme take on this philosophy na ayaw natin mangyari. Ayaw, syempre, lahat ng sobra ayaw natin. So, wag naman tayo maging self-centered. So, yung pinaka-essence nung do it for the plot is kung if ginawang story, no, ginawang libro yung buhay mo, or ginawang, sabi natin, movie, ano yung magiging twists? Ano yung magiging character development? No? So, if you're not developing, if you're not improving, parang ang boring ng story mo, di ba? Ang boring ng story ng buhay mo. So, yung plot mo, it's, it's something na hindi pakikinggan hindi panonoorin, hindi babasahin ng mga tao. No? Kung, kahit ikaw man, pag binasa mo yung plot ng story mo, you wouldn't even get over the first few para- paragraphs. Parang, first three pa- paragraphs parang lang, bored ka na. 
Kasi walang nangyayari, di ba? Walang kahit anong development sa karakter mo, sa story. So, if you look at your whole life as a story, as a, you know, uh, this is simplified, ah. Uh, para lang, ma- ano natin, mabig- nalagay natin sa perspective ang mga bagay-bagay. So, if you put your, your, your own life as a story, how would you rate it? No? In terms of, you know, I'm IMDB rating, kunwari, di ba? Or kaya, ilagay mo yung life mo sa Rotten Tomatoes. Ano sa tingin nyo yung magiging rating ng mga tao dun sa story nyo? Is it a happy ending? Is it a success story? May nangyari ba sa sarili mo uh, in terms of improving, in terms of development? Yun nga, character development. Was there any character development? Kaya rin, balikan natin yung kanina. Yung uh, main character syndrome naman. Ang main character syndrome kasi is the exact opposite of that. People who have main character syndrome often don't have character development. No? Character development kasi is striving to be better every single day. If you feel that, you know, sa'yo umiikot yung mundo, na ang mundo dapat mag-adjust sa'yo instead of, you know, doing your best to coexist in a world and bring value into a world, you know, as a main character of your own story, in that particular way, wala kang character development most likely. So that's what we want to avoid. Ayaw natin mangyari yun. Na usually, yung mga ganun, pa-victim. No? Feeling nila, everything's out of their control. No? O kaya kahit kasalanan nila, sinisisi nila sa iba. Or sabi natin, hindi sila nakakuha ng mga opportunities na gusto nila makuha. They're not even exerting the effort. Parang inaantay lang nila dumating sa kanila opportunity. Tapos sinisisi nila sa other things like, ito, wala, wala sana ma-offend, sa horoscope, no? o kaya sa fortune teller, di ba? Parang ganito yung nilaan sa akin eh. Ano magagawa ko? Like, you're not even exerting effort. So, in terms of that, you're not pursuing character development. And you're not doing it for the plot. No? Medyo, ang nasabihan ako yung way of pronouncing of words, medyo nabubulol-bulol, parang medyo hindi malinaw. So, expel ko lang, ha? P-L-O-T, plot. So, para lang malinaw, ha? So, ayun lang, di ba? Uh, sobrang simple lang, di ba? na kung iisipin nyo, na, o oh, nga naman, kung hindi ako kumikilos ngayon, if I'm not taking control of my own story, sino magsusulat na story ko? Director? Writer? May pakilam ba sila sa akin? <laughs> no? So, take control of your own life. Write your own story. Write your own plot. And, lagi, bigyan nyo ng ano, di ba? Lagyan nyo ng, ano ba? Exciting parts. Yung mga uh, climax. May, you know, napag-aralan natin sa English dati yan, nung high school. Eh. Uh, may climax, may ano ba? Kalimutan ko yung papunta ron eh. Yung, yung moment towards sa climax. Kalimutan ko yung tawag eh. May ganun eh. Tapos meron yung struggle, meron yung conflict. di ba? So, approach each challenge as a conflict as part of your story, di ba? Mababago yung ano mo, yung mababago yung, yung, yung perspective mo with just four words. Do it for the plot. So, I think di siya masyadong ginagamit dito sa Pilipinas eh. But sa US, mukhang laganap siya. But I hope, kung may islang man na mauso sa Pilipinas, sana yun, di ba? Parang, bahala na, gagawin ko ang lahat para ma-achieve yung gusto kong ma-achieve. Tapos bahala na kung ano yung mag- mag- kalabasan ng plot, uh, kalab- kalabasan ng story. If I fail, then it's uh, it's part of the story as a struggling part no? ng main character dun sa story. Diba? Then, in every story, pagka after every struggle, no? o, mahaba man yan or ano, usually, makakabawi yung, ano, yung vida eh. At lalo na if you put in the work, if you put in the time and the work, ang laki ng chance na makuha mo yung success at the end or the happy ending at the end of the story. And that's I want people to, especially yung mga 
nakikinig sa akin na uh, dito sa podcast, I want you to take away that slang sentence no? ng, ng Gen Z. And I love it. I really love it. I think nung, nung yung TikTok na pinanood ko, ganun din yung sinabi niya. Eh. He loved the, the slang. Kasi nga naman, bakit? <laughs> Ang dami nating iniisip. We overthink. We overthink usually. Pag kami gusto tayong gawin, may gusto tayong decision. No? Na we often weigh things na yung negative agad yung tinitignan natin. And we forget na pagka nakuha natin yung bagay na yun, mas malaki yung balik. No? Pagka nag-feel ka naman, usually makakabalik ka eh. Lalo na in the context of career shifting or getting into tech, with every failure, you are one step closer into success. Eh. Makukuha at makukuha mo rin. Eventually, yung dream job mo. Or dream first job mo sa tech industry. Or in your tech career. Kung titignan nyo yung mga nagsasucceed na mga, mga success stories ngayon na pinaposts sa Tech Career Shifter Philippines, yung mga nakaraan, basahin nyo lahat yun sa Tech Career Shifter Philippines. Andun yun sa Reddit natin, sa Reddit natin, and sa Facebook group. Walang nakalagay dun na nakuha nila yung first job nila on the first try. Wala. Kasi, they will, there will be failures na ire-reject ka ng bawat employer na impl- uh, na-applyan mo. Hindi talaga yun may iwasan. Kasi malay mo ba eh, first time mo mag-apply eh, di ba? Lalo na pagka fresh graduate ka, galing kang computer science, di naman, di naman nila alam or di sila masyadong aware kung ano ba talaga yung uh, interview process, ano ba talaga yung hinahanap ng industry. So, most probably, ikaw, kakapain mo pa muna yun sa umpisa. First 10, first 20, first 30, first 100. Hundreds of applications. It, it's less likely na makukuha mo yung first job mo. Dun sa first few, or first hundreds, or first tens, or first dozens of applications mo. Marami nga dyan, hindi man lang sasagot eh. Much less pag mabigyan ka ng interview. Makakuha ka ng interview sa first hundred mo, makakuha ka sampu. Sobrang swerte na nun. And sa sampung yun, most likely, lahat yun rejected. And it's, it's okay, no? It's part of the plot. <laughs> Kumbaga. So, yun lang. Medyo may ikli lang tong episode na to. Kasi, kasi ikli lang rin nung, nung sentence na yun. And, you know, sometimes it's just as simple as that. No? Para mabago yung pag-iisip natin and the way we approach things. We just need a simple sentence, a simple call to action. Sobrang, ayun ko, na-amaze talaga ako dun sa, sa, sa statement na yun. Na, ang galing, ang galing. Parang sobrang nonchalant lang eh. No? No, 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 sobrang parang walang pakialam yung Gen Z about oh, what will happen. In a sort of way, uh, napakagandang attitude nun uh, towards ano, parang yung failure mindset na yun. Uh, okay lang, basta, di ba? No? Parang, it's an offshoot of Carpe Diem. Uh, ano nga yung English ng Carpe Diem? Uh, basta yun. <laughs> Look up nyo na lang. Nakalimutan ko. But, but similar. Similar siya sa Do It For The Plot. Pero ito, nakakatawa kasi talaga. <laughs> Kung baga, uh, kalimutan ko yung scenario na ginamit nila eh. Um, nag-aalangan yung main character. O yung main character ng video. Uh, to do something. Kasi natatakot siya to baka kung ano sabi ng mga tao, baka magkamali siya. So sinabi lang sa kanya ng kaibigan niya, just do it for the plot. Yun yun. Ginawa niya, di ba? Sobrang tawa ko nung ano, nung nakita ko, but I was mind blown by that video and but and by that statement. It's great. It's, it's I love it. So, yeah. And I leave you with that. Do it for the plot and I'll see you next episode. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Kuya Dev Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have comments, suggestions, questions, stories you want to share, or any topic you'd like for me to discuss, drop me a message via kuyadev.com slash contact. You may also join our community by visiting techcareershifter.com. Until next time, 
keep learning, growing, and chasing your dreams. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.